Hi everyone, as part of the Everton's Blue Family campaign, I'm going to read Billy the Spaceman, a book that's been written to raise money for Everton in the community. Hope you enjoy. A boy called Billy looked up at the stars. I wonder what life will be like on Mars. One day I'll be a spaceman, he said with delight. And he lay and he dreamt all through the night. He saw his rocket soaring through the sky, travelling faster than the blink of an eye. Let's visit the planets, the moon and the sun. Travelling through space will be so much fun. When Billy woke up from his night-long nap, his pet cat Elvis jumped onto his lap. I wonder who can help me on my space mission. Elvis looked up as he curled into position. I know, said Billy, his voice filled with glee. Elvis can travel the universe with me. Let's visit the planets, the moon and the sun. Travelling through space will be so much fun. Billy's mind was made up. He made his decision. So he built a rocket with careful precision. Elvis made the spacesuits, boots and all. They had everything covered, no detail too small. Three, two, one. The rocket blasted off with an almighty roar as Billy sat excitedly holding Elvis's paw. Let's visit the planets, the moon and the sun. Travelling through space will be so much fun. Up through the clouds and off into space, the solar system is a big old place. They headed for the centre to see our star. The sun's made of fire and it sure is far. Time to see the planets, full steam ahead. Faster and faster the spaceship sped. First up was Mercury, so small and so mean. Then on to Venus, where one day lasts 116. Next up, the sea of craters on our very own moon. Billy waved back at Earth. We'll be back soon. After that came Mars, the red planet with rocks. Like Earth, but chillier, so don't forget your woolly socks. Then came Jupiter, the biggest planet of all. But like its sister Saturn, there's no land there at all. Just lots of gases, storms and a few rings. Beautiful giants, but no fun for Earthlings. It got colder and colder as they approached Uranus. There's not much gravity there, so it might feel like you're weightless. And finally to Neptune, where the winds blow so fast. So hold on to your torch as the sun gets there last. It was time for the space adventure to end, an incredible journey between two best friends. Billy and Elvis shot back to Earth in a flash, and the rocket landed safely back on their home patch. They had visited the planets, the moon and the sun, travelling through space was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed the book, guys, and um, I just want to say good night and stay safe.